What is the forecast for August 2024, according to Flying Stars Feng Shui? Welcome, this is Lydia with the Feng Shui and Bazi Chinese Astrology channel. Often on this channel, I like to read the charts of famous people because I think it helps us to better understand our own charts and our own lives, so welcome. And I also cover the monthly forecast for our home feng shui um, with the advanced system of flying stars. And even if you haven't had your home feng shui, you can still follow these tips um, and use them to, um, to ensure that you're sidestepping the worst of the energies flying in and activating some of the better energies so that you can fully take advantage of that. Um, so let's dive in. And I often like to begin with a reflection back. So as I'm filming this, we still have mm, a good 10 days left. So August starts, according to the Chinese calendar, on the 7th of August. And I believe that's a Wednesday. And we are entering early autumn, again, according to the Chinese calendar. So August and September are considered the months of autumn. So the energy is shifting. And between the dragon and the monkey uh, that rules the month of August, I feel like this is a cooler month, possibly. And maybe the cooler isn't temperature-wise, but maybe cooler in other ways. Um, so let's dive in and just take a reflection back, remembering that my forecast for July was the feeling of a tug of war, of feeling in ourselves and in our lives, this wanting to rest and needing to work, right? Almost like you're on the beach on vacation, but you still have to log in for a Zoom call, or you still have to check your email. It's not like you really get that break. There's that conflict within ourselves of resolving giving yourself full permission to rest um, or just giving in and getting the work done, right? And so there was a little of that happening. And um, so now as we move into the monkey, the monkey is bringing in an interesting change of energy. This is yang water sitting on top of yang metal, okay? And like I said, you know, after you know, the fiery months of May and June, the hot, dry, oh my God, here in Virginia, it was so hot and so dry. The ground was like concrete. And then just this last week, we've had um, more rain and a lot of humidity, not as hot, thankfully. Those 110 degree heat indexes are something else, woo. So, my garden is happy that we have had rain. So anyway, shift in the change of the temperature. And I feel like there are a lot of things in our world that are also shifting in temperature and reading what that is. Um, so when we look at the pairing, what's going on with the interaction between the dragon and the monkey? And the monkey is so much fun. Uh, and the dragon is so whimsical and imaginative and a natural leader. And so the monkey is happy to bounce along behind the dragon. Um, and together, they do something very interesting, very interesting. Um, and if you're born with a day-year combination, I would imagine that you are a somebody that is able to innovate all kinds of amazing things in your life. So the two together, the monkey likes to solve problems, to fix things, to, um, to take something and bring it into action. And the dragon is all about leading the charge, like project manager, right? Um, but also the inspiration and the ideas person as well. And the monkey is the one that takes those ideas and composts them into something usable. So this is a month 
all of August, the 7th through to the 7th of September, that we are really in a time of great creativity. Um, so if you are a creative person, which really we all are, um, find that tool. What is that for you? Is it a paintbrush? Is it a musical instrument? Is it creating a community garden in a food desert in the inner city of your, your state? You know, it's like, what are these things that you can do? It's time to brush the dust off of those projects that you have shelved for way too long and honor them with your presence. You know what came to mind for me? And let me just stop here and say that if this speaks to you, please subscribe, like, and follow. This is such a joy to me to bring this information to you. And I honestly wouldn't give it to you if I didn't feel and directly experience on a daily basis the benefits of feng shui and Bazi Chinese astrology. That all of my training and all of my experience, all the hundreds of clients I have around the world now, um, is such an honor to, to be able to guide you all and to give you this information. So uh, again, please subscribe and follow. Keep your comments positive and kind because that is the world we want to imagine together. Yes, thank you. Um, so I wrote with my partner a really funny TV show. I, we wrote the whole first season and that was three years ago. So when I was writing the blog and you can get all that I'm going to share with you in this video on the Karma Chameleon website. You can see the blog um, and you're welcome to also sign up for my newsletter. It comes out once a month. Um, anyway, so I was like, this is maybe the month because I've got a more open schedule to start brushing the dust off of withering vines and see if I can't find um, an agent to help me propel this thing possibly out into the world. It's worth a try, right? And just imagine everything that we do, not every cake rises, right? Not every um, thing that we create really turns into something tangible. But the process is, is the magic, I think. So... This is also a call to collaborate, work with others. Who can you partner with? You've got an idea, maybe they can lead with it. So the call is there, my friends. And I feel very like animated about the possibilities for August. I love this. It feels like a beautiful pairing. It feels like a power couple, okay? All right, so we are going to now move around our Bagua and see what is going on with our flying stars. Now, if you're interested in a virtual feng shui uh, consultation with me, please send me a, a direct message and I'm happy to talk to you about that. The fee is determined by the square footage of your home and I also do offices as well, okay? So we always start in the center, just like a mandala, right? We start in the center and we work our way out. Just like a mandala, the center impacts the whole rest of the home. The center is also your focal point. It's a very important area of your home. Hopefully it's not a furnace or a hot water heater or God forbid a bathroom, okay? Um, and there are cures for these things if that's the case. All right, so the center for 2024 is the three star, which is a wood star that's beleaguered in our new period nine. And I have videos that I did at the very beginning of 2024 talking about what period nine means for us individually and on the world stage. And actually a lot of 2024 is a rich introduction to the next 20 years 
that we will be experiencing. Um, so the three star is a wood star and the center is earth. And those two do not work well together. Fortunately for the month of August, the eight star moves in. Now the nine star was here in July, which was also a really great matchup. And this continues in August because the eight star is at home in the center. They're both earth. And the cure for this year to drain the three star, which is kind of nasty, irritable, argumentative energy, is fire. And what does fire do? It feeds the earth. So while we're weakening the negative elements here, we're fueling the positive. And I always love that. So the center of your home is perfect. And that for me in my house is my dance area. That's where I like to dance on my Oriental rug, um, make my own dance party. All right, so um, the colors for the center are red, 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 and um, I would also add a green lush plant in here, and you can add some other fiery colors. Um, every other uh, element and color we want to then avoid, okay? And then the annual cure is a red happy hoodie sitting on seven Chinese red envelopes. And that cure is protecting wealth and relationships. This is an area of the home we want to keep active. The thing is, it's like all whether the, the energy is positive or negative, if you don't use your home at all, it all goes dormant. Okay. If you are moving around, you're going to activate. Human energy activates. Even dog energy and cat energy activates. Certainly kid energy does too. If you're trying to depress energy, you quiet that area. You close the door to that room. You draw the blinds and make the room dormant and dark. And then you don't have to worry about it. So we come around to another positive energy, which is the eight star in the north. And the problem with this, um, talked about it all year, is the eight star is earth. And it's, you know, the north is water. So there's a conflict that can't be resolved. And because of that, the best thing to do is to just ignore the innate quality of the north and fuel the eight star with a little fire and earth. Um, so for August, there's a bit of relief because the woodsy four star comes in. The four star is nourished by the water of the north and that wood feeds into the fiery elements that we can put out there that help to fuel the eight star. So we're kind of creating this, this um, flow of chi through the elements so that we are always seeking harmony and balance. When our homes are in harmony and balance, our lives thrive. We have work, we have family, we have love, we have health. If you have any of those things not working in your house, something is wrong. It's just that simple. I've gone into too many houses to say otherwise. I can go into a house, you tell me what your problem is, nine times out of 10, I will be able to locate your problem area, okay? Whether it's a treadmill next to your bed, when you're looking for romance, <laughs> these things have happened, right? Whether you're looking for a job and your office is full of old papers from previous decades and it's a cluttered mess. There's infinite ways that we don't realize that we self-sabotage. And that's why we hire professionals. Either that or you have to really be put on your, your big kid pants, go in there and bravely address the reality of a situation. And despite all resistance, make the changes you know need to be made. All right, so we're gonna add fire into the north, which sounds so weird, I know, and, um, and add some fresh plants, okay? Um, so we're gonna avoid all the other colors and elements, 
And we're gonna put eight silk red flowers in a red vase to honor the eight star. If it's a front door, you can hang eight Chinese coins from a red string from the doorknob. And you can also put a favorite picture of you and your love here as well. So now we're gonna come around to the Northeast, which I say kind of neutralize because um, the two star is coming in here. And the two star as an earth star is at home in the Northeast, which is earth. And the six star, which is here all year, is metal nourished by this earth. The two star is tricky. And I've seen on other um, YouTube channels where people are still calling this the sickness star, but it's not anymore. In period nine, the two star is going through a transformation from a negative star to a more positive star, but it's gonna take years for it to get there. And remember, this is a 20 year period. So, um, we wanna kind of nurture this very, very carefully. The last thing you wanna do is fuel the two star. You just wanna leave it alone, but then also add a little bit of the metal to work with the metal that is positive, which is the six star. So I'm saying stick with black, white, and gray and add some neutral earth tones like brown and tan and cream. And these are things that you know, on a monthly basis, I might change, for instance, the pillows on the couch. I might change um, some, some decor um, to work with these changing energies. And in that way, you're flowing with the Tao, you're flowing with the Chi, and as you work with it, you ultimately will benefit from that. All right, so um, for the six star, we're gonna place six gold ingots in a round yellow, yellow or gold metal plate. Put that in a prominent place to promote wealth. And then um, if it's a front door, you can hang six Chinese coins from a black string from the doorknob. And if this is a bedroom with the two star there, just to be cautious, put a wealth gourd, a health gourd here called a wulu. Um, we're now going to go to another positive area, which is the east. And the one star is here for 2024. The one star is another wealth star. It's actually a future wealth star. This is our place for putting a vision board. What is it that you want to dream and imagine this year, right? And coming in now is the nine star. Oh, sorry. August brings the six star. And so as the six star comes in, the six and one are a dynamic duo of wealth, success, getting things done, getting those projects done. And there's this flow, right? The water nourishes the wood of the east and the one star is also nourished by the metal of the six stars. So there is this lovely flow. And so for that reason, I would focus on wood colors, wood and colors of blue, black, white, and gray. I would bring in metal to fuel the six star, to nourish the one star sitting in the east, all working together. Bring out your vision board, bring out your family photos, bring out images and things that are about what you want to manifest in the now. Because August is what, that, that it's the energy that's being called for. Let's manifest. So now we come around to one of the most difficult directions, which is the area ruled by the dragon of 2024. This is like the king's throne. You don't face Southeast from your chair. You don't drive or travel into the direction of the Southeast. Sleeping, you don't point your head towards the Southeast. The Grand Duke sits here. There are very special cures to put into place. Later in this video, I'm gonna talk about the area of the world that is going to be most impacted by the monkey. And I also 
have a little thing to say about the presidential candidates in relation to the metal element or the monkey monkey coming in. So stay tuned. It's a longer video when I do this one. So I want to make sure you don't miss any of this. Okay, so um, the two star, we want to keep it quiet, undisturbed, no ba banging, no construction. This is inside and outside. Always remember to extend your bagua outside. Um, so the seven star comes in. This is a bad combination, the seven and the two star. This is like safety issues health issues, being stabbed in the back, betrayal, injury with sharp objects, surgery, um, legal issues. Um, loss of income, legal issues, it is a mess. So the two star, really be mindful. If this is an entrance, I would not use this door. I swear I'd climb in a window before using this as a door in 2024. The Southeast is also a terrible direction for um, a bedroom, an office, any kind of major important room. Vacate it and use another space. Um, and then I have cures, all kinds of cures from a Tai Shui plaque to a pair of PL beasties to face into the direction of the Southeast, the area of the dragon. Um, three brass immortals at your back. I've got mine back here um, offering support. Um, and there's different cures that you can put in place if it's in front entrance or a bedroom. And again, Go. To, I'll put the link to go to the blog so that you can see all this information because it is a lot to cover. Um, so suffice it to say, the Southeast, not a great area at all for the month of August. And then we come around to another area. This one we want to depress as well, which is the South. This is a one of the hardest areas. It's another one of the placements of the three afflictions. Every year there are three afflicted directions. And this one is where we have the three killings. The seven star in the south is really like, that's explosive. That's warfare. That's gunfire. It is violent. It is not safe. Um, I had a snake. The south is ruled by the snake and the horse. And oh my gracious, had a snake last month forcing its way in my back door in the south. How literal. Couldn't believe it. Um, I've had all kinds of shenanigans at my back door this year. Um, so check your doors for safety, security, and use the color blue, 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 and black. Um, the three star comes in. This is, it's in harmony with the, the south but it just aggravates, aggravates, aggravates. Um, so bring in black, white, gray, and blue. So um, the one of the best cures is a brass dragon-headed turtle. Don't have that facing you. A plant that's growing out of clean, clear water in a clear vase. Um, you can also um, fill a black dish with rice and set a Chinese coin with a bloodstone on top to protect your money. So then we're going to come around to the southwest where I'm sitting right now. This is the nine star, which is our big, big money, wealth, success, everything happening, happy, happy, is slammed with the five star of destruction and all things going bad. So I might have to be in a different room for my office for the month of August to avoid this mess. This is like, feels like inflammation, inflamed egos, um, dictator, like a leader that turns into a dictator or a bully, um, and everything you covet at risk of imploding or exploding. Not a good thing. Best colors, we're gonna shift everything changing the bed cover because my bedroom's upstairs, you know, new bed linens, different colors, make the shift, it's worth it. So we're going from 
fiery colors to metal. We're gonna use metal, gray, black, and white, very neutral, very zen for the month of August. And be really mindful if this is your bedroom, be mindful if it's an office, be mindful if it's an entrance because it's going from really positive to totally negative. And you wanna protect yourself from that. All right, now we come around to the five star in the West, which means yes, the Southwest and the West both have five stars. One is annual, one is monthly. The whole thing is toxic and a mess. The one star comes in, which is nourished by the metal of the West, but it's useless. Um, when there's an energy as negative as the five star, no matter what comes in, it's just negative. And so you've just got to kind of work with that. Um, this is a horrible direction, the West, for a bedroom, for a major room in your home, um, or certainly an entrance. Um, uh, best thing to do is put a six rod metal wind chime outside your Western window, if you can, if you can. Um, a chiming clock is another option. Don't put wind chimes in your house, not where they belong, friend. Um, and again, Karma Chameleon, I'll put the link, check the blog for all the details because I don't want to run this video super long. Coming around to the last direction, the four star in the Northwest is the last of the three afflictions for 2024. This sits opposite Northwest, Southeast, Dragon Dog. Total opposites, conflict, right? So we don't wanna have any loud noises, no banging, no construction, keep it calm, keep it as pleasant as you possibly can. The four star isn't horrible. Um, it's not as positive as it was in the previous period eight. Um, but the Shui Po is, you know, a caution. And in flies for August, fiery nine star. And the nine and the four can dance pretty well together. But I'm cautious because of the affliction of the dog and the dragon. So I would say use this, but use it mindfully. Be aware that, you, you know, to use it in a calm, quiet way. And in that way, you can still benefit. Um, and so the colors here are blue and um, and metal. And for August, I would add some green because the green is going to help with the mitigating. The blue is the mitigator between metal and the wood of the four star. And then the green along with the four star mitigates the conflict of the fiery nine with the direction being metal, okay? So we're always looking for that way to bring in um, flow and harmony, everything attempting to go to find balance. So recap, best directions, north, the center, the east, possibly the northeast, possibly the northwest if used quietly, mindfully. The areas of caution, southwest, northwest, south, the, and you know all the three affliction, afflicted areas, the west and the southeast. In the world stage, this is interesting. Month of August puts the focus squarely on the continent of South America, Nova Scotia, Newfoundland. So there we have it, the month of August. And what I have to say is stick with me because I am following along with all that's happening um, with the presidential candidates in the United States presidential race to election day in November. None because we've got the monkey coming in, any of the candidates that have the tiger snake combination as a partial penalty are gonna feel the full effects in August with this, this monkey coming in. And the one candidate that has this affliction 
is Donald Trump. And all I can say is both his health, his safety, his sovereignty, and all of these legal battles are going to be that much more inflamed in the month of August. Stay tuned, my friends. I will be updating you as we go along with this presidential race and with anything else happening in our world that I can read Bazi Astrology on. So again, I welcome your comments and questions. And until next time, please be well.